What's this doing here? This looks like it was important. What's this doing here? I wonder what this is. Hope fails. That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our warrior, face what lurks within. When our last hope fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath.
Hang in there. Hurry We're gonna up, be Bradley. okay. We got company. Move. Move. You're awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? Where am I? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. How did I get here? Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. Was that Mark outside? He's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. Fifteen December, 1968. Lieutenant Evelyn Setter, one of only seven survivors to make it off the atoll. We had to abandon Ward 16 and retreat to Central here in Ward 13. Everyone else, they're all dead. Husgard, Neville, Greeny, Parker, Mackenzie, every last one of them is gone. We are the only ones left. The route invaded Ward 13 too. There are bodies everywhere. Root and human booth. Thankfully, the rule left for some reason. The place is abandoned. The dreamers are gone. That, that's what the root came for. I don't know how I know that, but I'm certain of it. The root and the dreamers are connected somehow. I can feel it. When the dreamers were killed, the root no longer had a reason to stay. Captain Ford, commander now, I guess, says we're holding up here while we're figuring out our next move. He's fixed the crystal, so nothing can follow us from there at all. And there are only a few physical entrances. It should be defensible for as long as we need it. God, this is a hell of a Hanukkah. 15 April 1969. It's been months now. The water almost feels normal. We cleaned the bodies out, though there are some doors we still can't get into. Commander Ford has us looking for survivors, getting them into the ward. He's a brave man, smart. Not like the bastards who got us into this mess. Thanks to Ford, we survived the first wave of the root invasion, which is more than we can be said for the rest of the world. The root didn't just come out of the wards, they attacked all over, all at once. No one was ready. Armies were overwhelmed. France even tried nukes. Nukes on their own land. Then they went quiet. We've lost all communication with anyone. The city's a war zone. We're surviving, but barely. How long can we do this? 3rd May 1969 I've been having dreams lately. I hear the root, smell them, watch them from inside their own heads as they hunt down and slaughter the survivors. When I wake up, I can still feel the joy, the rage. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember where I am. Where I am. It's freaking me out. 24th May 1969 We've lost so many people today. Took control of a water tower, though. They keep us alive, but I keep wondering if it's worth it. So many died so that we can, what, scrape by until they kill us too? Commander Ford spoke for the dead. Assured us their sacrifices will not be forgotten. So long as we have breath, he said, we have hope. I wish I could believe that. 2nd June, 1969. Ran across some old letters and journals from the folks who lived here before. They were full of hope, excitement. Andrew, Commander Ford, caught me reading, but I guess he's been reading them too. He said the hope worried him. It was misguided. He said, just like we were in Ward 16, just like I am now. 
I couldn't help but snort. What the hell did he have to be hopeful for? He laughed when I told him. He actually thinks we survived and we come back from this somehow. I thought he was naive, but his hope is what kept us going, isn't it? It's kept us alive so far. I must have said as much because he smiled and said we were only alive because of people like me. People who caught details he missed and challenged his optimism. He said my cynicism made his optimism more real. I'm laughing again just thinking about it. Of all the things to be worried about, he's worried about having hope. And he thinks I'm keeping us alive? God, what a man. 12th August 1969. Had another root dream last night. This one was different. Real. They were waiting for us in my dream, near the hotel courtyard where we have been growing food. I told Ford about it. I thought he'd dismiss it. God knows my CEO did that afternoon. But he said it was worth checking out. Good thing too, because they were there, waiting. We fought them off because of my dream. Afterwards, I admitted my other dreams to Ford. I said it had been going on for a while. He wanted me to tell the others, so I told the rest of the seven. We'll see what happens, but I think it was the right call. He's a good man, Andrew. I always knew it, but I... He's a good man. 15 August 1969 Okay, but what would it even look like if I hit on the leader of the board? He doesn't need that right now. We're just trying to survive. Who the hell thinks of dating in a post-apocalyptic hellscape? 16 August 1969 Screwed? I'm asking him out. 17 August 1969 Well, hell. Turns out my feelings were mutual. Andrew didn't say anything because he was worried about what a relationship might do to our leadership with the ward. Would it look like favoritism? Would it affect how the others saw me? What about when we argued? He started asking a thousand questions. Or did I shut him up? And I realized as I was shutting him up that this was the point. No matter how risky it might be, love is exactly what makes surviving worth the trouble. Besides, we have a good damn common foo out there. It's not like we'll ever disagree on that. 1st January 1971 Holy hell, I forgot about this old thing. Because you could say I've been distracted. Andrew and I got married last month, and today I'm pregnant. I haven't told Andrew yet. I want to keep it to myself a little longer. It's hard to believe there's a life inside me, a person who didn't exist before. It was Andrew's idea. I thought he was crazy for even bringing it up. Who would raise a child in this creep show of an earth? Him and his damn optimism. But he's right. Children are the only future we have. I don't know what will happen to this little one. Hell to us. But bringing a child into this world? The root are trying to rip away from us feels like rebellion. It feels like hope. And goddamn if that's not exactly what we need right now. Put up quite a fight outside our gates. Who are you? I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there. Or, we'll let the root have you. I'm trying to get to that island tower across the water. Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But, now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what, you wanna leave? 
He'll have to do something for us first. What can I do? First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. Another way out? It's not a door, exactly. And it may not even work. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Why trust me with this? Because I'm not losing any more of my people today. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the Root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the Root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. It's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. Did you help me? I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Rigler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your uh, sword mm, was pretty banged up in the fight. Mm, not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. I think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. Got nothing for ya. Keep walking, stranger. Visit the ward, friend. Hey, friend. The actor's just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterell? You? I'm looking for the rector. Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Oh, how'd call it be? So you figured you'd just come down here and wing it. Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, 
Maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. There. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. Get up there and start the reactor. Do it. Fuck good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. You never know. Less may turn up.
Sure is good to have some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. My mission is more important than the risks. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're gonna save the world, ain't you? I just need to get out of here. Oh, don't worry. Destiny will find you. Eventually. Uh, here. I want you to have this. Not many people can keep their spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it. Why are you being so nice? Because the rest of the world ain't nice. Gotta help balance it out. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, <laughs> Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. <laughs> Good to see a new face around here. Glad to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. You mentioned the founder of Ward 13. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool. But his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. I'll take whatever help I can get. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. Can you even spare the supplies? It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. 
If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. What did Ford say? <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. Are you always this grumpy? It's the apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. <laughs> Let's see what we're dealing with here. This'll help keep you on your feet. Along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. You're quite a grumpy, Cabe. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the Founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. And if this blows us all to hell? Well, here's hoping it doesn't. December 15, 1968. The wards on the atoll have been overrun. We used the crystal to escape, but I'm not sure those things can't use it too. I'm shutting it down, and just to be safe, I destroyed the connection between us and the door at all. Don't think I called Steep otherwise. I know other ways to travel between wards, but well, I'm the only one alive now who has those codes. Shall be safe for now. Attention residents of Ward 13, do not use the crystal unless absolutely necessary. The crystal attracts the root somehow. It is vital that Ward 30 remain hidden from their attention. Unless the root are pounding down the door or something, use a different way out. If the root are pounding the door down, try to find me in my office immediately.
read about it, but I never saw it working. This red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. You mentioned a founder. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there, searching. And one day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. Did he leave any clues to the rude? There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. 